Hello friends, welcome to eClassmate. In this brand new tutorial, you will know every required information to set up Google Ad Manager for your blog or website. This tutorial will cover the following topics. What is the Google Ad Manager? Who can use Google Ad Manager? How to sign up with Google Ad Manager? What is placement in Google Ad Manager? How to create ad units in Ad Manager? How to create order in Google Ad Manager? How to create line item in Ad Manager? How to create ad creatives in Google Ad Manager. Almost everything we tried to cover in this tutorial, but if anything left, please let us know. Let's start with the question number one. What is Google Ad Manager? Google Ad Manager is a free and paid platform to manage ad efficiently. Ad Manager's free version is available for small and medium business where you can get a 150 million impression limit per month. The next question is who can use Google Ad Manager? Every small or medium website that has an approved AdSense account can sign up for Google Ad Manager. So let us see process to sign up Google Ad Manager. Visit admanager.google.com and click on get started. There are some questions you need to answer. What best describe your business? I am going to tell you about web and video. So select web or video or select according to your business. Click continue. The next question is approximately how many monthly page views does your website get? I recommend to select less than 10 million to get a free version of ad manager. Answer the next question. Are you looking for any of the following features? If not listed, select none. Select all three except none. The next question is do you have an existing Google AdSense account? In this process, an approved AdSense account is required. So please select yes. What industry does your business fall into? Select according to your website category. Another question is where is your business based? Select according to your region. Click save and continue. If you have an approved AdSense account, you will be successfully signed up with Google Ad Manager. Now we need to know about placement before creating ad units. What is placement in Google Ad Manager? Placement is a very important guide where order line items and ad unit both work with placement. Suppose you create an ad unit and an order line item and want to place it in the header to compete with each other, then you need to select placement in order item and ad units so that both can fight for higher revenue to get placement with a single ad unit code. If you get more revenue from AdSense, your line item will not be served. Although if AdSense pays less than your order item, then your order item will fill the placement. Now we need to learn about how to create ad units. To create an ad unit, you need to expand the inventory section where you will find the ad unit option. After clicking the ad unit, you get the form to fill and create an ad unit. Follow the steps to create ad units. Give a name to ad unit. Keep the same name as a code. If you want to add a description, you can. Select ad sizes for mobile, desktop and tablet. Now you need to assign your ad unit a placement which already discussed. Maximize revenue of unsold inventory with AdSense should be ticked. You can also set label frequency. Set ad unit frequency and now click on save button. Add unit code is successfully created. To get add unit code, go to add units and click on the created add unit. Go to tags and select Google Publisher tag and continue. You will find two pieces of the code. Place the head section code to your website head and body section code where you want to show ads. The next question is how to create an order. Before creating order, we need to know what is the order in Google Ad Manager. Order are created for third party advertisement. Suppose you get an offer from an advertiser or company to place ads on your website and the advertiser or company pays you $5 for 1000 impressions. It means you get $0.005 for every single impression. And there is a twist. Suppose someone want to pay you $0.05 for a single impression, then which ad would you like to run? So in this case, the ad manager does the job and if he gets a higher bid from AdSense, he replaces your third party ad with AdSense ads, but it does not happen always. So let's learn about creating order. Follow the steps to create an order. Click on delivery and create new order. Fill the form like name and company name, save and approve the order. Now click on orders where you will see a created order. Click on the created order. Now you need to create a line item for the order. Click on create new line order and select display and give a name to your line item. Priority should be price priority to increase revenue and compete with AdSense. Now you need to select ad sizes for mobile, desktop and tablet. 
if you want to run on different different devices. Select the date of the start and end, number of impressions you want to serve, how much did you charge for this order and what cost you are getting for per impression. And if you are giving any discount, it could be also included. You can also manage the day and time when you want to show ads. You can also set the frequency of how many times a user should show a single ad per hour, per day or a lifetime. Now you need to select inventory which means ad unit that you want bind with the line item because the ad unit carries information of AdSense as well order and line item also. In ad manager you also get the option to target specific geolocations, devices, browsers, operating systems and much more with you can try and if facing problems don't forget to ask us. When all these things completed you need to do a final work and that's a creative for your line item. Now question is how to create a creative in Google Ad Manager. Click on creatives to create a new creative and select the size of the creative. Upload image, HTML code and some other options available for your creatives. We recommend image creative which is easy to do. Upload the correct image for your creative and give a link or contact number for landing after the link clicked. You can preview the ad. How will it look like? Now you need to check all the things are perfect. Wait for 15 to 20 minutes and your ad will start serving. So this is all about ad manager complete setup and we hope that you like this tutorial and if it helps you then please subscribe our channel.